Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to paint a mountain mural. For a mural like this, I just used two colors, the top one and the bottom one, and I mixed them as I go. You can use a ton of different colors if you want to, but I'm just showing you that you don't need so many to make this project complete. To start off, you need to paint the top of your wall the white or whatever color you chose. I'm using Seiko Mew's Delicate White. It's my favorite white. Start by fully painting the top portion or the top half of your wall, whatever you choose, wherever you want your mountains to start. I started with about a quarter of the way up because I'm going to be adding several layers of mountains. You can decide where you want to start your landscape. Step back and see if you like the flow of your mountains. I found the peaks all looked a little too similar, so I'm going to be adding a deeper valley and I just go right over it with white paint. For the second set of mountains, you will use the first color. Again, I'm using delicate white and I will add a bit of my dark blue called Jazz Night. You can also do this in a separate container, but I mix it directly in the can. Paint your second row of mountains, and before it's dry, add a little bit of white to blend it upwards to create the look of fog behind your next set of mountains. For your third set of mountains, add more dark and paint them on, but keep in mind where you added your fog patches. That is where you're going to want the valleys to go so that the fog peeks through. I use the same brush the entire time because it's all the same undertone and it blends together really nicely. Plus, when you think you are adding a full solid color and you get a little bit of dimension, it looks really cool. While the mountains dry, I dip my brush into the white and then I add some snow to the tops of the mountains that I've already painted. Repeat this on the tops of all of the mountains or just those at the top if you want. Don't worry about it spilling over. You can always go back in later and make your mountains sharper and cleaner. Every time I mix a new color, I do set aside a small container with a little bit inside for touch-ups later on. You can make so many unique colors with just two cans of paint. Step back and see if you like the flow because you have the colors set aside and you can always make mountains taller or valleys deeper. It just depends on what you like. Add your third set of mountains and while it's wet, add some white and mix in the fog. At the end, I did add a little bit of black. Black magic to be exact, I had it from another project and I wanted it at the bottom to be a little bit darker. Paint on your last set of mountains and then dip your brush in one of the medium grays so that you can outline some of the bottom mountains to appear as if they stand in front of the other ones. Just outline them and that will happen naturally. They're the same color, but it adds a bit of dimension to your mountains. Continue to the bottom and let it dry as you clean up your mountains on the top if you need to. This is when I add some clouds with white paint. Don't put much on your brush and as you make them larger, they will fade off and look very realistic. Once the paint on the bottom is dry, you will add your trees. I dip my brush in the pure black. Keep in mind, I am using the same brush throughout. So there are colors that will peek through once I add it on. I use the tip of my brush to build out the trees, painting a long stem. And then I just added little arrowheads along the way. Trees in reality are all unique and your painted ones should be too. So don't worry about getting them perfect or even close to perfect. Gaps, longer branches, bigger branches, they are all okay. Wallpaper that is trending today is very hand-drawn and imperfect, so your mural should be too. I added some tiny trees to the first layer of mountains, and then I added some bold clouds to the spaces that felt bare. I hope you had fun. Don't put too much stress on it, and happy painting.